Hey guys, Jasker here. Another 8v8 Night Cup match. This is the quarterfinals match between WTD and Synthic on Zavod 311. To recap, two rounds for this map, the winner determined by combined tickets. Enjoy. But anyways, we should be live on this round. Am I correct? I am correct for once. Yes. We are going live real soon. This. Looking at the... Look at the votes thus far. Can we show the votes and just and see? I think what that... WTD is actually, wow, WTD, 100% of the votes say no one thinks Simpson's going to win this. Wow. Simpson. Nobody's going to win this? Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. WTD is going to win it. Nobody thinks that Simpson oh. is going to win. Wow. Hey, I, I'm, like I said, I'm rooting for WTD. That's just, just the way it is. All right, so right from this breakout, we are going to be seeing the choppers even in Hoenn right from the get-go. And they are going to be going right for those gimmies. Look at that. Expect some stingers to be used on wow. the flanks. As both of them are just pounding on each other, drops going to be coming Here in the drops. for for WTD. Ooh, they, they touched each other for that Charlie flag, and yeah, it looks like it actually Synthic not getting too many successful drops going on. All of them dead, except for the pilot of the helicopter. He does land it, but that means that there are no boots on the ground for Charlie or Bravo for Synthic. This is not looking good for an opening breakout. I'd be lucky trying to get some more spawns going off, wow. and it does finally five man push coming in onto Bravo for Simthic. So they definitely are going to be a little bit behind, I would say, but not too bad. That's right. Looking at uh, WDD ICM, uh, kind of pushing on a Bravo, but he's not there just yet. It gets taken by, by Simthic. Still holding it down. What do you see? Now, right now we do have tank fights. Uh, tanks actually on each of the middle flags. Dark tan, dark tan. Oh my god. Okay, I switched over. I want Simthic to win now because of dark tan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simthic now is going to be pushing his tank up onto that, uh, that, what is this, Charlie flag, which is a little bit dangerous because you don't want any of your armor to be constricted, especially Dash Griffin, you being an armor player. Oh, yeah. You want to kind of be out in the open. You want to be able to back up, get some reps going on uh, without having to worry about a whole lot of rocket play coming in. Uh, but we do have him back it out. We also have WTD. Their tank is going to be backing up, playing very passively. But look at this. Simthic has a two-man push coming onto Delta Flag right now. Uh, Waffen going to try and clean that up. The tank does come back to try and help out just a little bit. And uh, it does look like they will be securing that. But look at this now. A possible four cap yes. in the favor of Simthic right from the get-go. Yeah, WTD trying, trying hard to get, trying hard to get their 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 gimme point back on Delta. Slowly getting it back. No more Simthic guys there, but uh, it seems that Simthic's just holding down their own very easily. Absolutely. They're, they're definitely winning out on the positioning side of things. Uh, oh, in the no. frag department, they're not doing too bad as well. We do have three and three, or uh, Wakas, or Wax, whatever we're going to call that. Uh, two over for Dark Tan right Ooh. now, the, the tank driver. He is now currently four and well, that's for his fast. team at the moment. And uh, yeah, so A, B, and C are going to be in the favor of Synthic, but look at that back rage. Just like you were pointing out, Dastro, they're going to be going for those gimme flags. A three-man drop on an Alpha. The tank is pushing on back from Synthic. And, uh, but, but boy, they're bleeding it fast. Yes, they are. Uh, the, the interesting thing here is that A flag is really, most of the time, you will be seeing a... A flag being in the possession of the opposite team just because of all of those buildings. Now, one of the advantages that we have that, that we're not going to be seeing in this particular matchup are spawn beacons. Spawn beacons are incredibly annoying on Zaba just because there's so much open ground that you can get around and you can spawn in back behind enemy lines. We're not going to be seeing that too much tonight, but uh, Simtech really just uh, proven that they're going to be able to beast it with the infantry play. Going to be making their way over to Delta flag right now. And they're going to be able to get that cap, as well as B flag is going to be contested here in just a few short moments. Yes. ICM on Delta, slowly getting it back down. There's two, there's uh, 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 01001 on, on Delta as well, but he is losing it. Oh, he doesn't have to take it out of Zylvania, though. Yeah, he is going to be pushing back up over onto Bravo Flag, which is smart. He needs to get those center flags. Uh, you know, he did his job. He went to D, he pulled back the tank, 
he pulled back a player. So that's what he wants to do. Uh, he's going to be able to, to provide a little bit of support over here towards uh, this Bravo flag. Wee Wee will be down below in the tunnel systems to try and hold on to this. We did have the tank kind of poking up on the Charlie flag for Simptic. Dark Tan's going to try and make something happen here. He's going to be a basically a three-on-one uh, situation uh, where he's going to be outnumbered. Oh, beautiful there by, uh, I believe that was uh, Incarnate getting taken down on the Charlie flag. So now WTD looking for a four cap of their own. Look at this. We have uh, some massive infantry play happening over here onto A. It's a two-on-two -two, uh, with some recons. The tank has to back up. So yeah, looking really good for WTD now. They're trying to come back with the domination of their own. Yeah, WTD on Alpha, The it, it looks like it's uh, it's about even though slowly going in favor of WTD, throwing some nades, and it's grayed out in their favor, 2v1, but one more Synthic guy on Alpha, and it will it will go uh, into Synthic's favor. Oh, WTD actually pushes up Bonsai. There was a trade between Ben and Bonsai B. Now with only one WTD guy remaining on Alpha, uh, the, the bleed is is slowly going their favor uh, with the tank below them. They gotta be careful though. Oh, throwing C4. Oh yeah. Oh, look at the C4 throwing. Oh, the C he's throwing C4. Oh, he doesn't see it. And the Blow it up. Oh, he gets it. <laughs> oh, that was great. Sneaky. That was a beautiful play there by. Yeah, that was a beautiful play there. Being able to take that tank down by WTD. Uh, while he was uh, focused on another portion of the map, they were able to take him down. And now look at the flag positioning here. It's a four flags pretty much for WTD. C flag just got uh, grayed out. But one of the things that's really surprising here is that Simplic looked very strong there at the beginning. They were winning a lot of their frag battles uh, oh. with uh, their infantry. So I think that they need to focus more on the B and C. And, you know, have their tank basically try and uh, go up to A every now and then, kind of poke and prod there, and just win out on pure fragging. This is a four flag map, which means that if you cap two flags, uh, you know, you're going to be able to go as a war of attrition. It's going to be, you know, who kills the most. And I think that Synthic would win that battle. And that's what they really need to focus on right now. Over here on the Delta flag, we do have Septic trying to stay alive within the train cars. The yes. tank is going to be oh, pushing no. up. Oh. It looks like he is taken down. Train car is and yeah, empty. They're just getting outmassed. Yeah, Look at this over on Bravo. Yeah, WTD uh, uh, holding down three of the flags right now, but they are losing Alpha. Okay, but they are contesting Charlie. What's Sylvania doing? Yeah, so we do have uh, Bonsai sitting over here onto that Alpha flag, along with uh, one or zero one zero one. I don't blah 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 blah. blah a lot. Uh, Cos is going to be over there trying to hold on with that recon kit. He's just kind of being a thorn in their side, to be completely honest with you. And he's doing a great job with that. As he's able to pick up one kill. Now you look over here onto the Charlie flag, as you do have Freak Player with a beautiful uh, kneecap kill there. Underneath those uh, those machines, now we do have the, the uh, tank pushing up for WDT. It's starting to stabilize a little bit. You know, 2-2 two, two flag setup. It's looking pretty good now. Simtech has a chance to come back. They're only down by 40 tickets, Dash Grove. So no, I mean, they they're looking they're looking fairly decent, and, and it's not that bad. No, free player does get taken out. We're looking at Incarnate, who is sneakily with the APC pushing to Delta. It's, it's, oh, watch out. you got to be careful, though. Don't hit trees. Trees are bad. Will there be a you know, spawn? Something else, oh, there is. Yeah. something else that I'd like to see is some uh, Jihad Jeeps coming into play. I would like to see some. We, we, we saw a bunch last round. Yeah, we've seen a lot of spawn bombs in the back range. We haven't seen any Jihad Jeeps, and I think that that's something that could really come into play here. Because the WDT tank, has, uh, or WTD tank, has played very, very passive. Very smart, I might add, uh, of just sitting back towards his gimme flag. And I would like to see maybe a, a heavy flank coming around, jihad him, take him down, get that gimme flag, and secure the The thing is, is that, yes, Simtic has been able to take the flag, but they haven't been able to hold the flag. No, they have not. That's, that's what they need to do right now. They need to start holding their flags. Over here on Alpha, it's going to be a 1-1 setup where they're basically canceling each other out. Finally, oh, man, aggressive tank here play from Dark Tan as he's pushing straight up onto the flag. I don't know if this is the smartest move. He is going to be able to get a couple of picks here, which could help his team secure this flag. It is. Boy, he is being aggressive. A bit too aggressive, I may I may say. Uh, he is pushing back out. Oh, but watch oh! out. 
the Beautiful C4. Beautiful C4 coming oh. in there. That was Seos. If you didn't catch it, he set a trap he for did. him. Laid it down there. Knew that he was going to have to back out. That's why you don't want to be aggressive with the tanks there, guys. Because you get in the tra those traps, you will be getting taken down. Beautiful plays coming out here for WTD. Really, they're just the smarter team at the moment. Yeah, CO was the same one who, who blew up the tank the first time. We now see Dark Tam being uh, down. I think he's, what is he right now? He is actually five and three right now compared to WTD's uh, ICM nine and zero. ICM just being a little bit, a little bit more uh, uh, conservative with this tank. Keeping it yeah, up. Yeah, and I have to say, and this is nothing against the current players that are playing for Simtek, but this is not the Simtek team that we saw playing in the 10v10, you know, several months ago. No. We are seeing some really bad mistakes. They just drove their transport chopper over onto Charlie on top of the Charlie flag. One player took out two players that dropped and the driver. That should never happened. That was very, very sloppy play for Simtek. They really need to start stepping up their game. That lead that we were talking about before, only 40 tickets, well, let's look at it again. It's almost 100 tickets. Now it's getting scary. They really need to start doing something a lot different in their play. They did make a play onto B-Flag. It wasn't successful. It looks like WTD is going to be able to clean that up, but they need to start going in for some successful back raging. If you look over here, the tank is going to be getting pressured from Synthic. Freak wow. Flare made some really good plays there. Was not able to do too much damage to it, but he did distract him long enough that we see a play coming in here onto Bravo. Unfortunately, we did not have the team coordination that was needed to. Nobody was spawn bombing, and that play was shut down. Yes, going to Synthic uh, from uh, 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 0 1 0 0 1. What is the binary? Can someone look that up? Can someone look up what that binary means? Is that even a. That's, that's, that's five numbers. I, don't, I think. What does that mean? Can someone look it up? What does that mean in binary? Help me out. It means confusion. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> we'll see. Let's uh, go into... Ooh, let's, what do we else we got going? I'm trying to see where some action is. We really haven't seen the, the, mobile, the mobile artillery being used much at all. Uh, we do see ICM going for long distance tank shots. I like those. Yeah, and I'd be lucky he was flying the, the track chopper before. He was the one that made kind of a, a really, really bad error on his part. We'll be pushing back up, gets taken down. Incarnate now, gonna be going upstairs to try and get a little bit of an elevation, but not gonna happen as, look at this, WTD amassing in the perfect spots. Oh yeah. They are sitting oh, all, all wow. of their players over to Charlie Flag. Do you have a back range coming into Delta though? This is Simtex time. We do need to be seeing some C4, we need to be seeing some slams and some mines being pulled out so that when this tank does come back, it will be able to take it out. And just to point it out, the artillery is now taken by WTD. Will we see some fires? Just Vera thinking about it. He's not at, oh, oh, he shot one. Where is that going? Bam, nothing, he didn't hit anything. It seems that... Yeah, and unfortunately, Simtek here not capitalizing on the fact that they got a back rage for free, basically. Mm -mm. They're going to allow... They're going to allow him to die. Uh, 01001 ends up getting taken out, and nothing comes out of that back rage, no. which was really good, actually. And, in fact, they're in trouble of getting back rage themselves. Uh -oh. There's a one-on-one one -on -one fight happening over on Alpha. Incarnate on Bravo, taking it out slowly. Perhaps their back rage was a feign. So they could put more guys on a Bravo. They are slowly getting it back, but they are down by 120 tickets. Yeah, this is not a position that they want to be in. This is terrible. Uh, if they, they, and the thing is, is that it's not enough to get two flags. They have to get three flags. So it's going to be even harder to push back this WTD team, who's been doing really well. I mean, look at this. Wee Wee, 21 and 9. 17 and 6 goes to Waffen. 11 and 1 for the tank driver of WTD. That's ICM. So just really throwing out the top frags. If you look over on the Synthic side, it's just negative, 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 mm -hmm. negative, negative, negative. Nobody is positive on the Synthic side. And that right there is the reason why they're, they're not winning. They're just not getting their frags. Not getting the frags, not staying up. And it's important to recognize, I think, I'm gonna pull up uh, the squad list real quick. We have a very interesting uh, loadout where a, a majority of both teams are running engineer, it looks as if, but not all engineer. But it just shows how important it is to keep those tanks down 
because those tanks can wreak havoc. Wreak havoc. Utter, utter havoc. Yeah, absolutely. Now, do you see the center flags being taken by Simthic? Maybe this is their chance to come back and try to make something happen out of it. They did clear out D flag. There could be a couple of spawns coming in here for WTD. Not really sure. Yeah, there we go. We do have uh, Just Vera going to be spawning back there to try and stop that cap. We'll be able to get the cancel on it. So nice job there. Uh, a back rage coming in from ICM. The tank does end up going down for him. So he's going to be pulling back, uh, looking for his tank to respawn here in just a few moments. They've got plenty of tickets to play with. So not looking too bad there. Uh, no. But uh, honestly, uh, once again, they lose Charlie Flag and Simthic just not spawning in where they have to. I mean, this is this is brutal, guys. I'm sorry, but this is just brutal right now as uh, we will be having a three-man push over onto Alpha to try and get that gimme back. But with 23 tickets left, you don't need to be expending three guys on one flag. No, they, they are just trying to delay the inevitable 147 to 20. Alpha is being taken. Bravo being contested, but looks like we'll go in favor of WTV. At this point right now, Dastro, it's all about damage control. All they're trying to do is just drain enough tickets down. And, and honestly, they need to drain them sub 100 to really come back for round number two. And another beautiful play here by Wee Wee as he was able to pick up two more players onto that Bravo or that Charlie flag. Nice job and just really showing that they're outplaying Zemtik here. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's going to be hard coming back in round number two, man. It is going to be hard. Four tickets remaining that bleed in favor of WTD. Final score, 145 to 0. Going to be switching sides. 50 minute round, not bad. Not bad. Absolutely. So 145 tickets, ticket count to beat. That's that's a tall order. It can be done, though. Uh, you know, if I mean, we've got to point out the fact that WTD did get a four cap there for a while. That has a lot to do with it. You know, if, if uh, Simtic can prevent a four cap, uh, get a three cap of their own early on and just hold that, which they were doing at the beginning. I mean, how it went so wrong, I'm not really sure. But even, even with their fail breakout, they were able to get that quick three cap, possible four cap there for a second. Yes. So they need to be doing that once again to come back early on within the match. If they, if they don't come out to an early lead, I do not foresee them being able to take this game. Oh, well, let's check out some replays. Let's check out the very first instance where we saw the chopper battles at the beginning. Here we go. I'd be lucky trying to get some more spots going on. Oh, wow. does. a little early. Five but you guys saw it. In onto Bravo for Simthic. So they definitely are going to be a little bit behind, I would say. And let's check out the next one. This is a sneaky C4 with a right. looking at a... Oh, he gets it! <laughs> I'm just I'm oh, I am missing great. this guys. Let me, let me bring it back one more round. Let's by, go let's go yeah, five that was a seconds. Beautiful play behind. there, being able to take that Try take down by WTD. There you go. Uh, while he was uh, focused on another portion of the map, they were able to take him down. And now look at the flag positioning here. It's a four flags pretty much for WTD. C flag just got a uh, great out. Well, well guys, I think are we going live? No, we're not live. Simtic looked very strong there at the. No, this is uh, this is not live yet. As we do have people saying, "Hey, we got people that have dropped once again on Simtic." But you know, this could be a good thing for Simtic. They need a little bit of time. Think about uh, think about their positioning, how to push up. They've got a hundred tickets here, a hundred tickets to make this happen. So it's really going to be crunch time here, do or die. This is what makes a team great. And uh, we'll see what happens out of it. They are going to be on the uh, the U.S. side. Which I would say is, is a slightly better side just because you don't have to worry about your gimme flag being constantly hounded uh, by recons with, uh, with the, uh, uh, not spawn beacons, but the tugs. They can hide in those buildings very easily. It's hard for your tank to come back in there and, and deal with it. Whereas on the WTD on the last round, we saw ICM being able to pull back. Clean it up a lot of times by himself just because it's, it's a very open area. So they yes. will have the slightly, I would say, easier side this time around. Um, honestly, though, I don't think that would go that far into why they lost. Yeah. They need to have a perfect breakout here. Well, uh, they cannot be dropping five players right off the break, which is what happened last time. They need to get successful boots on the ground at C and B right from the get-go. Yes. Uh, I would almost say instead of going strictly for the transport chopper drop, they should go for a couple of uh, quads and just drive them up to C and B. Get there a little bit later in the quads, but honestly, not it, it's not that bad. So 
I think that that would be a really good uh, change up there. Just to, it's like a it's like a, uh, a security net. You know, if, if that one fails for the drops, then you got the guy that's driving the quad on the bike. He can get the spawn bombs off on him. Indeed. Now uh, let's check out uh, people in the chat saying they they want to see that that other sneaky C4 kill. Let's see if I can pull it up real quick. Let's take a let's see if this works. Sure, this flag. It is. Boy, he is being aggressive. A bit too aggressive, I may I may say. Uh, he is pushing back out. Oh, but watch oh! out! The Beautiful C4, C4 coming oh. in there. That was Seos. If you didn't catch it, he set a trap he for did. him. Laid it down there. Knew that he was going to have to back out. That's why you don't want to be aggressive with the tanks there, guys. Because you get in the... the Alright, guys. That was a pretty cool clip with Seos putting that C4 at, the very, uh, uh, at that entrance, blowing up that tank. Are we live? I think we may be. Uh, this should be... No, it's Matt Round canceled. Everybody's in. I'm not really sure what exactly is the... Here. Um, we'll ask in chat. Moments. It is live. This is live here, guys. We'll be seeing. Let, let's take a look at the breakouts, Dashgro. What are they going to do in terms of breakouts? Are they going to be just going for those chopper drops? Or will I, they be going for any kind of a back rage on the quads? We we did see uh, in this last one. Uh, we saw what was it? Synthic uh, did an early uh, or WTD got an early jump on on a top. Synthic on the other hand, a little bit more time. They end up getting their chopper taken down, um, and uh, and here we go again, guys. The choppers are abound. Here they go. Oh, we got two, three, four drops on WTD. And it looks like one chopper going down. The other chopper actually going to Alpha instead. That's exactly what I was talking about at the beginning of round number one. That's a beautiful play there from Simthic. Would have loved to have seen that on the first round. They are going to be getting on the A, and look at that. It pulls back three, three players, their tank and two more. That's one player tying them all up. Beautiful plays coming in there. Now it's all up to the infantry. They need to make a play on the C and B flag. D is going to be firmly in their control. They do have control of C right now, but that Bravo flag is going to be elusive, and they need to push or they need to push WTD out of the middle of the map. They've got to push them out of there in order to get this cap going in their favor. Yes, free player uh, taking a lot of damage, but stays up on Charlie. Although you have to, you know, the thing is, as you mentioned, it was great to see Synthic uh, sort of put that paint on Alpha, but now, but but they really didn't capitalize that. They didn't get Bravo back in the process, and I'm surprised by that. Well, they haven't gotten it yet. It's it's flashing right now. It's it's canceled out. Uh, we have uh, Lala Bubblefish, who is able to really, you know, keep anything from getting capped out on that particular side. We do have a Geod Jeep coming in, and Carnet going to be at the north side of the map, coming around Ooh, to Alpha. Yeah. He's going to be looking for that tank for ICM, and uh, I don't think that ICM spotted him out just quite yet. He's actually going to be going in onto that Bravo flag, so a little bit dangerous on his part. We'll see if he ends ends up getting taken down because again he's not looking for this oh my god if incarnate can get this this is going to be huge here guys he's making his way there he's almost in oh the there it is does he get it and he does oh. it he misses with the c4 it gets taken down last second pull out by icm will be able to save himself the, oh my god mm. huge blunder there from simpton that's just bad luck that's just it bad was luck. that felt that felt like bad luck it really did um but Incarnate trying again, he's not going to stop. He's going to keep on going. He wants more. Yes, he does. Now we do have uh, 01001 over here on that alpha flag. Dios is going to try and hold on for his team. We do have ICM pulling back with that tank. I got to tell you, that guy is one lucky dog right there. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do have the tank for Simthek. It's going to be Dark Tan pushing up on Charlie. Now, again, I, I don't like his play here, Dastro. Is that C4 right underneath opinion. him? Uh, it was! It was. <laughs> oh, no. Ends up going down. And, oh. guys, again, that's why you don't want to push up into those buildings. A C4 Jeep coming oh. in, and it does take the he tank out. And Karna ends up getting the tank, but not the kills. But you know what? He took out the armor piece. So there's action going around all over the map. 
And Simtic really is trying to make a comeback. They're still contesting Bravo Flag. They're looking 10 times better than they they, what they were on the previous side. 232 to 227. Uh, I'm not they have the lead, and now the three cap bleed. Yes, going to CO's. He's uh, on the periphery on Charlie. Synthic does have the three cap uh, bleed. They're, they're 10 tickets up compared to WTD. And look at the swarm over here from WTD. They got at least six players over here onto that Charlie flag. Now, if, uh, if you know, if, if Synthic, if they're able to get their picks over here, Dark Tank with a beautiful hip fire there, will be able to take out one. We do have C getting flashed down right now. Free player needs to slow down. He needs to get the spawns off on him. There you go. His spawn, uh, his team is going to be spawning in. They have a chance now to make a comeback onto C flag, but at the same time, Bravo is also getting contested. I'd be lucky. Won't be able to make anything happen there onto B flag. The artillery has spawned in. Dark Tan is going to be over there towards that artillery, not going to elect him to take it. So he is definitely not looking to uh, go back into spawn and hide out for a little bit. But uh, Bubblefish is going to be holding on onto that Bravo flag. It's going to be Dark Tan versus Bubblefish, and that's not going to happen as he takes him out with that beautiful Scar play action. Yes, uh, the, the Synthic team did uh, put their transport helicopter on top of Charlie, using it sort of as a, uh, a, a, a point of departure. But take into consideration that WTD does have, did put their uh, transport helicopter just below it. Two transport helicopters. Real close. Uh oh. That yeah, absolutely. So uh, I, this is just back and forth action on that Charlie flag. They're not. They're on top of the buildings. They're inside the buildings. They're under the buildings. They are everywhere here. Beautiful hip fire oh. coming in by Ben. We'll be able to take him down. But if you look on the ground right now, uh, that's going to be whack. He ends up getting taken down onto Alpha flag. And now to the sun, it's just trades everywhere over here. You can't even keep up with the action. And Freak Flare, the last one left up. No, he ends up going down. Oh. So Simtic finally getting cleaned up on the Charlie flag. Dark Tan is back up in his tank. He needs to pull back. He needs to play passive. He doesn't have to get very aggressive. In fact, I would like to see Dark Tan uh, maybe pushing the south side of the map and trying to go around uh, and get a back rage onto the WTD tank. I think that that would be a very valid strat. Yes, we do see Seos uh, on Delta does uh, taking a lot of damage. Wow. He does get taken out, though. At the same time, go into Ivy Lucky from Simthic. They are getting Bravo back. Taking out one. This right here is... Uh, I'm watching ICM right now. And this guy knows how to tank. He is doing a phenomenal job. Uh, he is basically hitting Bravo and Charlie at the same time. And oh my god, the tank for Simtic is so low on health right now. Look at this. He's only 35, 14% health. Oh, and there it is. The straw coming in, finishing him off. WTD with a map. Oh my, their whole team. Their whole team is at sea right now. The tank pushing up, being super aggressive. Yes. They're looking to close it out right here, Dasker. 184 to 194. They have taken, or they're about to take the lead. Yes, they are. At the same time, Team Synthic uh, is moving their transport helicopter towards Alpha, bailing it out. Doesn't blow up just yet, but will we see a one-on-one -on -one fight? Here it comes. Freak Player. Freak Player does get taken out by Bubblefish. Blubfish. It's, it's now two-on-one, three-on-one on Alpha. Synthic's Alpha push, I, I doubt, will be a success. It is not. But again, though, Dasker, that was a feint. That was an obvious feint. Yes. It pulled four players back and the tank. So, yeah, that was that was an obvious feint right there. The problem is is that it's it's poorly timed. Simtic was down when they made that push, which means that they did not have players in place to make a push onto the B or the C flags. So they, they, they need to start getting their timing pushes down a lot better. And look at this. WTD going straight for Delta. They know, hey, the majority of Simtic, they're over on Bravo flag. We've got Ooh. the callouts for that. We're just going to hit Delta, and they're going to be able to get the flat or get at least flash down, I would say, to neutral. Dark Tan will be making his way over here onto D. A last minute spawn from uh, Rezel will be able to stop that. But, I mean, th this is looking ugly. 170 and 179. And remember, it's 145 tickets that they have to beat. Yeah, so, uh, WTD only needs to burn out another. 25 tickets or so, the 25 tickets, and, and or less now, and they will uh, end up winning uh, the match. Yes, and it's, it's, just, it's just looking grim 
right now. It is definitely looking grim. Uh, an update right now about the brackets. APG will take out Octavia Centurion 228 to 0. They will be moving on in the semifinals on Land King Dam. They will be playing off against the winner of VIP and 10 Hertz. Not really sure how. Uh, give me back my son and uh, Ventation give me back Sports my are doing. Son. That is right. You got no. You got to say it the correct way, Dash. You got to give it back, my son. It's it. You got to do a little head bob with it. But oh, uh, <laughs> it, it's it's angry. But it's angry though. It, 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 it's give me back my son. Give me back my son. That's, it's from, it can be. It's from the movie Ransom. That, I learned that today. And so that's, okay. that's the, okay, re that's the reference. It's a Mel Gibson movie uh, where his son is kidnapped and he has to pay a ransom. Tough world out there. WTT is going to be pushing up. Over here towards Alpha Flag, you have Just Vera going to be cleaning up two of the Simtech players. They're not going to uh -oh. make any headway. And it is looking like it is over here. We do have some possible C4s coming out on the top of the building over by B. That's the Cios, who's been just brutal with that C4, but is now 112, 173 in uh -oh, favor of... Oh, there it is! Oh, oh. No, it, 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 he's in trouble. One more. No, it doesn't go off. He does end up dying. Uh, but we do see 170 to 103, guys. Uh, it, Simtha cannot cannot win this now. No, nope, it is over. So GG's there to WTD. They have taken it. Looking very dominant, I might add. I mean, they, they played very well on Zavod. It'll be really interesting to see how they played out on Land Kang Dam. We'll be moving on in the semifinals. They will play against the winner of Gimme Back My Son and uh, Vindication Esports. So I, I'm going to be asking our admins for any kind of an update on that, and we will definitely let you know. But, uh, you know, yeah, great game right here. Simply just, honestly, if they were playing like we're seeing them play now, then I think that we would have seen it. But, I mean, with 100 tickets left for WTD, or I'm sorry, but it, actually it's already over. But, like I said, I mean, with, with the 100 ticket, 140 ticket deficit that we saw before, the bore cap coming in, it was just, Simtic was just off their game. Yeah, it certainly felt like that. And at this point, we are just, uh, we are just watching the, the, the round come to an end. Incarnate with a single does get taken out. Wee Wheat, again, 14 and 10, doing real well. Almost dead. Dead, dead now. And even though that Seos is at the bottom of the, of the, of the leaderboard, 6 and 11, uh, it's, it's no doubt in my mind that he has had a big impact, a tremendous impact for his team. Oh, absolutely. Uh, one of the things that in... That's, it's, it's not necessarily prevalent in 5v5s, although it is there. Um, it's just like, you know, today in the Go4 series, Drunks uh, on Fnatic, he, he went negative in the finals match against Epsilon, but he was so critical because he provided a lot of good spawn points, a lot of good clutch kills. So you don't necessarily, in 8v8s and 10v10s especially, have to have that amazing, you know, KD. You don't have to be out there just beasting it on the gun skills. But, you know, if you're that, that, that player that is able to get the clutch C4, which we saw CS do, if you're that guy that's able to get a back rage and pull off five or six players to come back and kill you, then you're doing your job. You're doing exactly what you need to do. Yes, going, uh, staying on Dark Tan, he is so low. Will he get taken out? He's got, got one another up here, update guys. here. The IP versus APG will be the next match that we are going to be streaming here. The IP able to take out 10 Hertz, trying to find what the score was here in just a second here, guys, as it is not posted just quite yet, but they are going to be moving on into Land King Dam. So uh, give me back my son, ended up beating Vindication uh, Esports 279 to zero. They will also be moving on in Land King Dam. So going to be some interesting matches going to be coming up here in just a few short moments. Uh, definitely looking forward to what VIP and APG. I haven't really seen APG play uh, at all. Uh, I have heard of them before, I believe. I may be completely lying to you guys here, but that uh, should be an interesting matchup. Yes. So again, just a match update. My son over Venation. So the winner of this, which is in this case, WTD, will play Give Me Back My Son. For the next match we're gonna be casting, 
is um, is VIP versus APG. Going to be good. And APG, yes, as I understand, is. is a South African team, so this should be good stuff. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I will say this: South Africans have a really good competitive uh, scene. They in the country championships, I believe. The last time I checked up on them on the country championships, they were making their way up into the semifinals. Wow. So that that's a that's a really good thing to do. I mean, to be honest with you, there are a lot of good eights teams in that event. And to be able to make I believe that was their first one that they competed in, to make it up that far, that's that's an impressive uh, amount of work there. And they will be uh, you know pushing on over here against VIP. Uh, VIP has members such as Nick's DK on it, so you guys definitely know who that is. A really good tanker. So it'll be interesting to see what comes out of this. I am uh, I don't know. Uh, the South Africans, they are an interesting group to watch. They have some tactics and some strats that are a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. But then nice. again, you know, I would say that your tactics and strats are somewhat based on the area that you most play in. Wouldn't you agree, Astro? Yeah, I think, I think that's true. I mostly think that's yeah. true. Um, it's, it's all about the, the kind of diversity of players that you end up playing against and, and what you can learn from it. Yeah, absolutely. The play styles do vary from region to region. So, uh, you know, maybe they're going to throw a curveball at VIP. Uh-oh, is that a C4? Ben! Ben does not get the C4 up. Mm -mm. That C4 does get taken out. And VIP so from I Team believe, Sweden. I believe we are going to be going over here in just a few short moments into the next match. As I, I'm already in the other server. We do have VIP just waiting at the moment. So, anyways, in chat right now, guys, who is your favorite to win the event? The teams that we have left: VIP, APG, Give Me Back My Son, and WTD, who was looking really strong right there at the end, Dastro. They are looking pretty beastly versus Simthic. So, uh, who in chat? Who do you guys think is going to take it? Who's your favorite, Dastro? I, you know, I, I haven't seen Give Me Back My Son yet. I'm curious how good they are. Uh, I, I want to say, I, I, I'm interested, though, in seeing uh, uh, what WTD ends up doing. Right now, you know, we saw 10 Hertz win, play. They end up losing to VIP, so, you know, they're out of the game. But I really want to see what WTD does against Give Me Back My Son. But we are going to watch, though, APG versus VIP first and foremost. Let's go to the brackets and yeah. see what we got thus far.